everyone and a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen Thailand. You can't come to Thailand without tasting mango sticky rice. It is so, so delicious. And if you haven't had it before, I'm going to show you today how to make it. Now just come in a little bit closer here. The rice they use in Thailand is a slightly opaque, long grain rice. I say opaque, it's got a sort of matte texture to it. It looks like it's been rolled in a roller. Now you can use regular rice as well, it will work. But unlike a short grain rice, there's less glutinous uh, texture in this. So we have to soak it a little bit longer. So what we're gonna do is take this rice, pop one cup of rice into a pan or a bowl, and then I want to rinse this through to get some of the starch off. So the idea is pop it in some water, Rub it in your hands a little bit like that. Get some of this cloudy starch off and then just pour away the cloudy water. Now do that two or three times until the water is nearly clear and you'll be fine. Then what we're going to do is just cover the rice completely. This is ideal now to let this soak for two, three hours. You can even soak it overnight. It really doesn't harm. Now, traditionally, this rice is steamed, but I'm going to show you the Steve's Kitchen way of doing this, and it's the 10-minute rice cooking. Come in a little bit closer. Now, I had some rice that I pre-soaked. That was one cup of rice. Now, to one cup of rice, you put one cup of water, and it doesn't matter if you do two cups of rice, it would be two cups of water. So we've just got the right, the optimum amount of water in there to cook this rice. Then bring the rice over to your stove. Now I've got an electric stove. I'm not used to cooking on one, but I'm gonna show you today how to do it on an electric stove. I've done it many times before on a gas stove on my channel. We are heating this up until the rice just starts to boil. So you'll see it starting to dance on the edge. Now just quickly, because I'm doing this on an electric stove, I've worked out that it's best to heat it on one ring. And on this second one over here, I'm going to pop this on to the second lowest heat. So it's a very low heat. I'll show you why in a moment. So you see there now, the rice is just starting to dance on the edge of the bowl. I can turn this heat off. Now on an electric hob, it doesn't stop immediately. So what I'm going to do is move it over to this much cooler hob here. I'm just going to pop a towel over the top, place a sealed lid and just fold these sides in. Now what we've done there is created a nice seal. Leave that on this low heat for 10 minutes. Trust me, it only needs 10 minutes, but don't lift the lid, don't peek. Now it's time to make our coconut milk, our sweet and slightly salty coconut milk. Now come down here. Uh, I've got one cup of coconut milk. I'm just gonna pop that in a saucepan. Whoops, doesn't matter if it's a little over or under. And into that we put one third of a cup of sugar. And I put about half a teaspoon of salt in there as well and pandan leaves. These are optional, but uh, we're just going to crush them up a little bit by tying a knot in there and breaking the surface of the pandan so it lets the flavor out. Now, if you can get pandan leaves, do use them. They make a lovely little subtle change to the flavor. So whilst my rice is on, I'm taking this over to the stove top and we just want to bring this up to a little simmer until the sugar has dissolved. Now my 10 minutes is up. That comes off of there, the rice. Now we're gonna pop it down here on a board. Now look, my milk is lovely and hot. It's not boiling, but the sugars have dissolved. I'm going to uncover that now. And if you look, all the water's disappeared. I'll just get my spoon. You can see that it's perfectly cooked through. What we want to do is just pour our coconut milk over our rice. We'll take the pandan leaf as well. And now gently, because we don't want to damage the rice, we're just going to lift it up so that the milk can penetrate into the rice. Now, my, that smells absolutely delicious. Cover that back over. We're gonna leave this for 40 minutes just to allow all the moisture to absorb into the rice, and then it's pretty much ready to serve, but this will last all day. So you don't have to serve it while it's warm, it can serve while it's cold. So we've got 40 minutes on our hand, it's time to make a little thick pouring sauce. Now, you could use the same sauce and make up a little batch more, but I like a lot of this sauce, so come down here. Exactly the same ratios approximately, I'm gonna use three quarters of a cup of the thicker creams. Sometimes you'll find that inside the coconut milk. In Thailand, they call that the head of the coconut milk. Then I'm just going to take some corn flour or rice flour. Whatever you can get your hands on, this is just a thickening agent. We're going to pop a teaspoon of that back in our cup here. I'm going to take a, a little bit of that milk back, mix it through with the corn flour, just so that we don't have any lumps, and then I'm going to pour that in. Now we need to sweeten this the same way we did the other one. I'm going to use a couple of tablespoons of sugar and about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. 
Now, same as before, we're going to heat this up on the stove and you'll notice as it comes up to the boil, it will thicken quite considerably. So just keep mixing until it gets a little bit thicker. You should be able to coat the back of the spoon like that and that is perfect. The mangoes want to be on that ripe side, you know, so they're a little bit soft, you know they're gonna be sweet and delicious. Got one of those beautiful fresh mangoes and uh, we're gonna do it the Thai way. I'm just going to uh, peel off the skin. We're just gonna take that off a little bit at a time. Now I'm just going to take half the mango, so I'm gonna get my blade close to the, uh, the pip in the center or the stone. I'm just gonna draw that knife through, and pop that mango down there. Now I want to slice my mango fairly thinly. So take a look at the sticky rice. Now I just pulled those uh, little pandan leaves out of there. They've done their job. Now you can see the rice is still a little bit warm, but the, all the little rice grains are perfectly whole. And we've got this wonderful sticky rice. Now I'm gonna improvise. I'm gonna take some of that sticky rice and pop it into my cup measurer. And what you will notice is we've got about almost three cups from one cup of rice. Now. Let's pop this down. We've got a banana leaf here on a board. Got that lovely sauce here on the side. Whoops, she's dropped out, but she's dropped out pretty perfectly for me. Now you're gonna see why I sliced the mango lovely and thin. I'm gonna pop that on there. Drag that mango out so it's got that thinner profile like that, you see? And then I'm just going to draw it around the rice like so. Just think that looks so pretty. You see, you've got like a, a moon shape coming around like that. I'm gonna cheat in one area. This is what you decorate the top of the sticky rice with. It's little poi lentils that have been soaked in water and then they've just been toasted in a pan. But in Thailand, you can buy them all over the place. So I'm gonna use ready-made. Now look, it's like a little sort of, little puffed rice. And this one's got some black sesame seed in there as well. So you remember that lovely, thick, sweet, sticky sauce? We're just going to drizzle that over the top. Now, I love this sauce like this, so I'm just going to lay it over the top, a little bit over my mango as well. Take our lentils, just sprinkle them over the top. So let's give this a try. I've just taken some photographs to share with you, so I'll pop those up as well. But I get some of that mango, some of that lovely sticky, sticky, sweet and salty sauce. Here goes. That's why I'm in Thailand. That is what I'm enjoying about being here. It is such a delicious dish. Now try this yourself. My method for cooking the rice is a little different. They tend to steam it here. I have been told it's a little wetter, but to me, it's pretty much perfect. So if you like this video, if you love mango sticky rice, give this one a thumbs up. I will see you shortly for some more fun on the road, Steve's Kitchen, Thailand. Be good. So these little ones here I made for the staff downstairs, I'm gonna pop them down to them now. I'm not gonna film it while I'm down there, but uh, they helped me develop this and told me when it was too salty or too sweety. So hopefully it's just right for them today. Now you're gonna to have to trust me on this one. This is so delicious. Some of the Thai desserts are just fantastic. Got more desserts coming up, savory dishes as well. I'll leave some links here to some videos. Please share the love, give the thumbs up. Comment down below, I'd love to hear you subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your friends. See you next time.